So you might think that with the increase of the human population that we would um, eventually you know, run out of the ability to feed uh, 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 an ever-growing population. And this has been a concern going back hundreds of years, actually. Um, but the reality is that uh, because of human ingenuity and uh, because of scientific discovery and uh, innovations in agriculture, uh, we've been able to grow more food per person uh, over time. And the price of food uh, has remained more or less steady or even fall over, it falls over at certain time periods. It has not seen the kind of, we have not seen the kind of catastrophic increase in the price of food that would indicate that there's a, a real shortage developing. Um, so the ability to grow enough food to feed the human population, this is not really in question. It's possible to grow the food to, to feed a population currently of almost 8 billion people. And uh, experts in this area of agriculture uh, and, and food systems believe that it will be possible also to grow enough food, uh, produce enough food to feed a population of 10 or 11 billion people as well. That's not really the issue. The issue is more about the distribution of that food uh, globally because uh, that happens through markets and people are not equally uh, endowed with resources to purchase food in, 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 in the private market. So um, there's an issue of poverty, there's an issue of access to uh, food. The issue is not whether we can grow enough food to feed the human population, we can, we can do that. Uh, there are two issues. One is that the, the distribution of that food uh, isn't always what you need. And uh, in particular, the distribution of food breaks down often because of political conflicts or because of endemic poverty in different parts of the world. And the other aspect uh, of the problem with the food system is the impact that it has on the environment. Uh, the food system, global food system, contributes about a quarter of all the global greenhouse gases that are emitted. Uh, and so it has a very important, there are very important consequences uh, the after effects of food production uh, on the environment are very significant. But our ability to grow food uh, to feed the population, that's, that is there. That ability is there and we will continue, I believe, to innovate and find ways to produce more food. But what effect will it have on the environment? That's very significant. And will everyone have access to it? That also is a question that needs to be 